Okay. Ella, be nice. All right. So if the cotangent of x equals negative one third, I use cosecant squared equals cotangent squared of x plus one. Um, negative one third squared is one ninth. One ninth plus one is ten ninths. The square root of each side is the square root of ten ninths, which is the square root of ten over three. And since we are in quadrant number four, cosecant is negative. So cosecant is a negative square root of 10 over 3. Also, cotangent flips the, is a reciprocal tangent, so that's negative 3 right away. So we've got these two right away, which is nice. Now, if we flip this one over, then we get the sign. Negative 3 over square root of 10 can't leave square root of 10 on the bottom, so it's negative 3 square root of 10 over 10. So now we just need the secant and the cosine. So secant squared equals tan squared plus 1, secant squared equals square root of 3 squared plus 1, secant squared equals 9 plus 1, secant squared equals 10. So take the square root of each side, secant equals the square root of 10. So if then we flip that over, it's the square root of 10 over 10. And cosine and secant are both positive in quadrant 4. Everything, L, everything else is negative. Are we good with that problem? Okay. 28, okay, on 28, um, cosecant of x is square root of 3, okay, so if we start out with cosecant, cotangent squared equals cosecant squared of x, cotangent squared plus 1 equals cosecant squared, so plug it in, we get the cotangent of x equals the square root of 2, we're in quadrant 1, so it makes everything positive, which makes it kind of nice. Um, if cosecant is square root of 3, then sine is square root of 3 over 3. Um, then sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So cosine equals the square root of 6 over 9, which is the square root of 6 over 3. Flip over that, you get the square root of 6 over 2. And tangent is square root of 2 over 2. Are we good with that? Kind of get the gist of everything? Okay. 29, change cotangent, or both of these, into negative times a negative, which is a positive. Change cotangent and cosine over sine, cancel, cosine of x. 30, change the secant of negative x into the secant of x, minus secant of x is 0. Here, sine of y plus the sine of negative y, which is the sine of y minus the sine of y, which is 0. Cosine of y plus cosine of negative y is cosine of y plus cosine of y, which is 2 cosine of y. 33, sine of x over cosine of negative x is sine of x over cosine of x. Sine of negative x over cosine of x is negative sine of x. These are opposites, so they add up to 0. 34, cosine of negative x over sine of negative x is Cosine of x over sine of negative x, which is negative cosine of x over sine of x. Cosine of x over sine of x is cosine of x over sine of x. There is no negative there. So if we have this minus, it's like plus a negative. So it's negative 2 cosine of x over sine of x or negative 2 cotangent of x. We good? If you stopped right there, that's fine. You do not have to go to this step. Okay. 35 is what we're going to be doing a lot of later today, foiling. Um, but before we foil, the sine of negative x is the same as negative sine of x. So you foil, 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. 36 is a lot like that. 1 minus cosine of a times 1 plus cosine of a is 1 minus cosine squared of a, which is sine squared of a. 37, sine of negative x, cosine of negative x, cosecant of x is the negative sine of x, cosine of x, 1 over sine of x, which is negative cosine of x, because the negative carries through. And 38, tangent of negative x is negative sine over cosine. Cosecant of negative x is negative 1 over sine, or 1 over negative sine, times cosine of x. The negative sines cancel, the cosines cancel, and we equal 1. Good with that, right? 61, we have, because we had 61 through 64, so 
1 minus 1 over cosine square root of x is cosine square root of x over cosine square root of x minus 1 over cosine square root of x, or just cosine square root of x minus 1 over cosine square root of x, which is negative sine square root over cosine square root, which is negative tangent squared. If you stopped right there, that's fine. If you went to there, that's also fine. 62. You factor out a sine square root of x out of there, and you get sine square root of x minus 1, which is negative cosine square root of x. We have cosine of x on the bottom, so we can multiply the top and bottom by cosine of x. It's negative sine square root of x, cosine cubed of x. That's where it should end up. Any questions on that one? Sixty-three. What I would do is factor out a negative one, then tangent squared of x plus one. It becomes secant squared. The two secant squares cancel, so it's negative one. And sixty-four. Factor out a sine squared or uh, cosine of x, and it's sine squared plus cosine squared, which is one. So it's cosine w over one over cosine w, which is cosine squared of w. Okay, we good? Okay. So here's our list of five assignments that I'm going to come around really quickly and check. So have them out, have them ready. Yeah, they're right in front of you. They're all on page 165. Have them out, have them ready. Here we go. Sorry, 
Yeah. They got to be 20 under 21 for the guess the final price. Of course they did. This is bad to do this. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
So if I move cosecant to this side and cotangent to this side, what is this equal to? No negative cotangent squared of x. Okay? So can you do problems like this? 1 through 10 all on page number 172. Okay, we will uh, do one more section probably in 20 minutes, and then that'll be it for today. All right.